How's your marketing going? One of the things with me when I kind of got started off in the internet marketing business, if you like, um, was that all of the ads that I saw were so hypey and so salesy and there was just seemed to be nothing there that I could actually connect with and hold on to. Now, most of the IM space is, uh, is built around the rags to riches story, which is quite a nice story to sell because people have been selling it for years and it brings out uh, that little bit of hope in all people that see it as in like, oh, that could be me. But the thing for most people is that they don't want to go from rags to riches. For most people, they have some, some level of income coming in at the moment. It may not be where they want it to be, but that they're going to learn, need to learn a new set of skills to do something different. Whether that be, you know, I've always wanted to go back to college to do something or whether I've always wanted to do some other type of career, you're going to have to learn that. So, like, you wouldn't start off today going, oh, I think I'll play basketball, I'll be in the NBA tomorrow. Life doesn't work that way. You know that. So that, why do you look at certain things online like, oh, I'll go in and I'll earn money in that in the next month, not knowing what I'm doing and having no idea how it is. So you go in and you think, oh, I'll just throw a bit of money at that and I'll make loads of money back and I'll be sorted. And for some people, they go in and they'll be quite good at it and that's what they'll do. But for most people, you're going to have to learn that. You're going to have to learn how to put an ad up. You're going to have to learn that when you put an ad up and the ad actually doesn't work, you don't get anybody coming into that, you've actually learned something from that business, from that process. And the more times you do that, the more times you learn, the better you get at it. And for most people, it's not going to happen overnight. And most people are not going to put in all the effort it takes to get to the end. And I'm here to say to you today that if you're not willing to work hard at this, you're not going to get anywhere. So don't waste your time now. But the other side of that is you need to figure out what ads work and what type of message works for you. And I would say that if you're using advertisements you're not particularly proud of, stop using them. And bring that back around to something you're proud of associating yourself with. But the other side of that is you have to actually get your point across to people in a way that's going to hit home with them on an emotional level somehow that they may actually take action. And that for me, looking around in Ireland and looking around a lot of businesses, there's an awful lot of businesses out there and they still have a website up saying, this is who I am and this is what I do. Whereas it does not give somebody the option to give you their details in return for something that may be of value to them. And it does not tell you what problems they're going to solve for you. Because for most people, like if you take accountants, for example, like accounting is not a very sexy profession. But the other side of that is, is if you turn around and you say to somebody who has to do a tax return, you know, in the next month, week, whatever it is, that if you bring it back to that level and you put an ad up in front of that person coming up to that stage saying, you know, sick and tired of the hassle of doing your own tax, we could do it for you. Take a load off. At that point, you're going to grab somebody's attention because they have an emotional attachment to, oh, that'll make my life a lot easier and I can get somebody else to do it. And that just is that thing of bringing around your way of thinking to how can I take what I do and explain it in a way that will emotionally impact the person that I'm trying to sell it to. Because if you can start thinking that way, that's when you're going to make real progress. It's not about making a fast sale. It's obviously about making money and turning it into a business, but it's about making a difference for each person you come in contact with. If you can remember that, and remember to spend time with those people, you can build a business. If it's all about the sale and all about the quick money, you don't actually care about what you're selling or who you're selling it to, you may do very well in a short time, but it'll fall apart. So just come back to basics of your advertising. Think about what you're selling and are you proud of it. And if you could bring it back to that level of like if somebody said, I come into your business through that ad, if you were to talk to them the following day, would you have to say, oh, yeah, but um, there was a couple of things in that ad I need to explain. You're not being 100% honest. I'm not saying you have to tell them everything up front, but I'm saying that you have to be okay with whatever message it is you're putting out there. 
for me that was one of the things I struggled with all along because you start off you think you don't really know an awful lot and you're afraid of doing anything different so you'll take a lot of money and you'll throw it into specific types of advertising expecting a big return you probably won't get it but it's about that thing of put an ad up track it know how much money you're spending know what people are doing when they click on your thing and know what your conversions are that's it